Hey everyone, I'm Amanda, Strong Lotus Yogi. Today we will be going over some simple stretches for the wrist. Oftentimes um, you may find yourself experiencing wrist pain throughout your practice. So these are some nice little stretches to do prior to practicing to avoid um, that pain as well as injury. We're also going to go over some alternatives. So if you're in the middle of your practice and you start experiencing that pain, we're going to go over alternatives for hand placement throughout your practice. So the first stretch that we're going to do is very simple um, and honestly I do this sometimes throughout my work day if I've been typing for too long. So taking our palms out like this, our fingertips are flexed towards our face. Um, I would keep one up for now, put the other one down, but just keeping your hands upright. Your, your fingertips are facing you, um, your arm is outstretched in front of you, and then with your free hand just very gently pulling those fingertips a little bit further towards you and pushing out through your palm. So not forcing it, not doing anything crazy. These are very gentle um, stretches because there's lots of tiny little bones in there. We're just very gently pushing out through the palm as we pull back on the fingertips. And then to counteract this stretch, we are going to release these fingertips and then take the palm downward gently pulling now the underside of the hand towards us. Um, still keeping that arm out long, pushing through now the top of our palm. Once again, very gentle stretch, not forcing that back. Um, just very gentle. And go ahead and do this a few times. So bringing the palm back up, pushing through the bottom, the heel of the palm as we pull our fingertips back. Flexing that hand back downward, pulling the bottom side of the palm towards you as you push through the top of the hand. So letting that go and of course doing it with the other side as well. So palm pushed out, fingertips are facing towards you and then very gently pulling those fingertips towards you as you push out through the palm. Arm is out straight. And then flipping that palm down, gently pulling the underside of the palm towards you as you push forward the back of the hand. Moving through another time, up, pulling those fingertips back, pushing through the heel of the palm. Flipping back down, pulling it through. And then what's nice is shaking it out. So shaking it out um, in our hands and our wrists, there are so many little teeny tiny bones in here. And they're very sensitive because they are so small. So the little bit of compression can cause um, a lot of pain. So it is nice to give our wrists some love um, and shaking them out is honestly another nice little exercise for them. So another nice stretch, we are going to make our way to all fours. So coming, coming to tabletop pose, of course, our knees are under our, um, our knees are under our hips, our flat neutral spine, our wrists are underneath our shoulders. And first, what we are going to do is just do a gentle circles, small circles moving around the wrist. These are very small circles. We're not overdoing it. We're really just trying to move through the wrist, getting them warmed up. You're not putting a ton of pressure on them. It's equally distributed throughout your tabletop pose. And then we're going to start to move in the other direction. So I was going counterclockwise, now I'm going clockwise. Moving in the opposite direction, counteracting that first stretch. And then coming back to neutral here, so finding our neutral tabletop, and what we are actually going to do is, only if you are able to, what we call flip the wrist. So taking the palm and flipping it back 
so that our fingertips are actually facing towards us. Um, so our fingertips are facing our knees, our um, wrists are still stacked under our shoulders, and either just gently moving back and forth or once again moving in circles, just moving around. This is a very intense stretch. So we don't need a ton of movement here um, to get the benefits of this stretch for our wrist. And if at any time it becomes too much, then listen to your body and, of course, back off. If you're moving in one direction, go ahead and move in the other direction to counteract that stretch. And then flipping the palms back. So that was one more, um, a little bit more intense stretch for the wrist compared to the first stretch. That one is more intense. Um, so like I said, you want to listen to your body. Uh, if your wrist is saying, please back off, then go ahead and back off. Uh, it just needs to get used to moving through that stretch. Uh, so one last thing that we can do if we are feeling wrist pain, and um, especially right in here, so right above where all of our little tiny bones are, it's nice, um, and you can get into this however you feel comfortable. Everyone is different. I usually will go into a yogi squat, um, and then I will take my palm, and I am coming through the leg till it is right at that wrist, and then I am bending through, taking that leg pressure. If you're poised enough, you can take both in, um, so just putting that little bit of pressure on there, I like to um, continue to wiggle my fingers through um, while I do this. I feel like it helps massage in between those spaces a little bit more, um, especially when my wrists are hurting. And of course, what you do to one, we do to the other. Um, so really coming into it however you feel comfortable, but we are just taking our palm right uh, underneath the knee and bending at the knee, putting however much or however little pressure we want to put on there just to feel that bit of pressure until it starts to feel good on the wrist. So those are a few stretches um, and practice, practices that you can go ahead and do if you experience wrist pain. I recommend doing them prior to your practice to warm up the wrist, um, get them moving ahead of time and warm, making that transition a little easier. So now we are going to go over two alternatives that you can utilize during your practice if while you are practicing, you start to feel that pain in the wrist and bearing the weight um, has become uncomfortable. And you can practice these variations however you would like. Um, we are just gonna go over them very briefly. So one is, um, this one is a good practice, especially for like tabletop or plank pose. Um, but what it is, is if we come to, say, tabletop, instead of having our hands flat um, like this, coming and making fist and bearing the weight on top of our fist, when I say bear the weight on top of our fist, I am saying bear the weight right here. So your knuckles are pointed down onto the mat. Um, it creates a straight line instead of when we have our hands flat, that bending and all of the weight, it evenly distributes it a little bit better. Um, another alternative uh, is what you will see for dolphin pose instead of downward dog, but you can utilize it for plank as well or any other posture that you see fit. And that is instead of being up on our hands, coming down onto our forearms. 
So bending, having a 90 degree angle from our shoulders to our elbows. And now the weight is distributed onto our forearms instead of onto our hands. So these are just some nice alternatives and stretches if you find yourself having wrist pain throughout your practice. We love our wrist and we need them for our practice so we should show them some love. If you're feeling pain in your wrist, whether it be just normal day to day or throughout your yoga practice, I encourage you to listen to that pain and try to see what you can do to ease it. Um, we need our hands, we need our movement, and once it's gone, it is difficult to get back, much like anything else. So give your wrist some love today, and I thank you for joining me. I hope this helps you with your yoga practice.